Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my first tutorial on auto exec configuration files. What are auto exec configs, you, you may be asking? Well, they are files that make sure specific settings are set in the game. Basically, it's like a save game for your settings. Now, you can change them in game. You can change your sent. Let's say you change your sensitivity in game. Um, you leave the game and you re or and then you reboot the game. The game sensitivity will have changed to what is in the auto exec configuration. Now, this can come in handy because you can use auto exec configurations for a whole number of things. Um, you can use them for holding your mouse sensitivity, mouse acceleration. Um, enabling your developer console, you're showing your HUD, making your character hold his gun in his left hand or right hand, um, doing key binds for uh, for uh, buying guns. Um, you can do it for your radar, resizing your radar, making your radar follow your uh, your character, things of that nature. Also using it for your crosshair. Now, I'm gonna leave my auto exec config in the description so you guys can use it as a um, sort of a starting point to start your own auto exec config now mine I took a base I took somebody else's and made it my own and you guys will change these over time as you play counter-strike more and more um, so like for example I think I have uh, like I have my keybinds um, now wh what you can do so you can just go to any one of these little websites like my cro this crosshair generator let's say I want to use this crosshair uh, and I'm gonna put it in my auto exec config so I would go down here to this crosshair section delete all that control V boom new crosshair and then you just start up the game. A few moments later. All right. First thing you need to do, you need to locate if your CS:GO game has a auto exec config already. So I'm gonna go into my Steam library, Steam apps, common. I'm gonna find CS:GO wherever Counter Strike is. Counter Strike. Then I'm gonna go CS:GO. CFG look at that there's my auto exec file right there now one thing I would recommend to my viewers I would recommend you back up your CSGO um, auto exec and your reticle which is what I've done here I have it in a separate folder so I can change them here and decide if I want to actually copy them over to the actual directory and this way I can um, I have a backup just in case I have to re-download the game. I still have the auto exec, so I would recommend you um, make a backup of your auto exec file. So um, yeah, um, on to the next section. You would be uh, pretty much good to go. Oops, maybe I should uh, just in case. I don't want to accidentally. Okay. Um, then there's also your binds. You can use a you can use a uh, software like this for uh, some binds. Oops, let me start over here. So let's say I want keypad six to be my, um, or sorry, I'll do keypad five by incendiary grenades. So we're gonna do incendiary. Oh, let's make sure we're doing that right. Keypad five incendiary, there we go. So what I would do then is grab all this copy go over here to my key binds and you can see right here bind keypad 5 in quotes by ink grenade colon or semicolon by molotov end quote um, so that's basically how that works it um and you guys, as you will use these, as you will um, start tweaking your auto exec config, it will, you'll change things to make things better for you and 
um, things of that nature. So basically, uh, okay. So what? I, tell you what. What I'm gonna do? All right. Just I'm just shut. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. So <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave links to all these, and I'm gonna leave a link with my auto exec in the description. And you can use this auto exec as you want. You can use my reticle. My reticle is kind of garbage, but um, that's why it's my reticle. You guys may think it's ugly, but I can see with it, so I can get those mad one digs. Anyway, so um, you guys will, you can change it, do whatever you want with it. Um, yeah, I hope I helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave one in the comment. Um, if you like the video, go ahead, uh, leave a like. Um, and if you guys want to see more CSGO content, content with friends, things of that nature, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, uh, I'd love to, uh, have some more, have some more people asking about me and, you know, I, I'd love to, uh, I, I'd love to build a community. I'm also going to leave a, a link to my, uh, Steam, my Steam group and you can get a hold of me there if you're not friends with me. So, yeah, um, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.